Hello and welcome to Nerds and Stuff. My name is Martin and tonight we are playing Fiasco. Uh, Fiasco is a role-playing uh, system that doesn't require a GM, so all of us will be playing as players tonight. And we have selected the playset, Heroes of Pinnacle City. This is an online supplement for the game, Fiasco. Uh, but before we get to that, we're going to introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Daniel Sheldon. Sam Murphy. Stephen Moldenhauer. Adam Grebus. Perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the setup of our Fiasco. So I'm going to need both of you gentlemen to roll the dice for us tonight. Perfect. Go ahead and assign them to their uh, numerical categories. Uh, we did not decide who was going to go first, so... I want to go first. Okay, Daniel will go first for this evening. Okay, perfect. What would you like to assign? We have characters, or relationships, I guess, um, locations, objects, and needs. I, I would love to assign a relationship okay. uh, between Sam and I. Perfect. All right, so we have all of them available, so we have allies, exclamation point. Rivals, oh, they all have exclamation points, so I'm not going to say that. That's, okay. that's funny when they all okay. have. Okay, rivals, secret identities, romance, origin stories, and the government. Uh, 100% we're in romance. Okay, 100%. so go ahead and grab a four um, and assign romance, or relationship romance. Perfect. It is now my turn. Uh, I'm going to assign a need to this uh, movie that we're making tonight. Uh, my options are to conquer the world, to get laid, to escape, to save the day, to get revenge, or to find out. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say to escape. So one of the needs will be, will you write this down for me? Uh, need will. to escape. And that's a three. Okay, it's your turn. What would you like to assign? Let's go with locations. Okay, the second location. Now we do have a look. Oh, no, we don't have a location. Nope. Okay, perfect. Uh, exotic. Famous, boring, headquarters, four color, or precariously perched. No idea what precariously perched is, but let's go with exotic. Exotic. Okay, grab a number one and write on the card you got there. Uh, location exotic. Perfect. And then when we have um, these kind of general ones, we're going to set them a little bit more in the center of the table to represent that they're for kind of community pool. Okay, your turn. I'm going to define a relationship. Okay, and whose relationship would you like to define? I would like to further define Daniel's and Sam's <laughs> <No>! relationship. <laughs> okay, so all the dice are available still. We have lovers on opposite sides of the law. We have soon to be married, this time in, par in parentheses, this time for sure. <laughs> We have, I can't, my superpowers would kill you. <laughs> we have mundane rivals, masked lovers. Um, number five is, how many times are you going to stand me up? In quotations with a question mark. Very much uh, jilted romance right there. And lastly, uh, you remember, they don't time travel makes you sad. Wait, you remember they don't time... You remember. Oh. We don't. Oh, time travel okay. makes you Perfect. sad. So you remember they don't. Time travel makes you sad. So it's a it's definitely like a lopsided love story. We're gonna go with the number two. Soon to be married. This time for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. For sure. <laughs> We've this got time. to this time. All this right. Time. Sam, what would you like to define? Uh, can I do objects? Perfect. Yeah. And so we'll have one object for the movie tonight. Okay. Perfect. And we still have all the dice available. So we have new technology. Transport, devastation, weaponry, puzzle pieces, or ominous? Uh, can we do the third one? Devastation? Yes. Okay, so grab a three, our last three, oh, and write... Oh, don't whoops that. That's, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. Write object devastation. Perfect. Daniel, let us return to you. Uh, I'm going to define another relationship. <laughs> okay. Uh, these two mofos. Deal. Uh, so now we are out of threes, so we have allies, rivals, romance, origin stories, the government. Uh, they're absolutely rivals. Okay. Everyone knows So this. go ahead and grab a two, and write on one of your guys' card, relationship rival. I saw that coming <laughs> as soon as he said relationships. Deal. Um, I am going to, uh, I'm going to sign a relationship as well. 
and I'll sign our relationship, and I will make it a I'll make it an origin story for a five. Ooh, exciting! It is your turn. What would you like to assign? Uh, so the weaponry is for ourselves. For what? Potentially, maybe the the the, the object, devastation. The yeah, the, the devastation object. We won't we won't define that until the picture becomes a little bit more clear by the end of this. All right, I but it'll be a kind of central focus of the of okay. the movie. You want to want assign it? Okay. Yes. All right. So out of devastation, we're only missing threes. So we have falling meteor, nuclear bomb, self replicating nanobots, uh, Andromedon brain, brain slugs, or. <laughs> Giantest monster ever. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> okay, so uh, that will further define that object as giantest monster ever. <laughs> okay, what would you like to define? Um, let's further define our rivals' relationship here. Yes, Deal. please. Okay, so uh, we still have everything available minus threes. So out of rivals, we have righteous defender and arch nemesis. Champions of incompatible forms of justice. Quote, there can only be one. Or there can Ooh. be only one. Uh, five is quarreling siblings. <laughs> and lastly is vigilante and by the book. So it's like a buddy cop. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to... Please a five or a six. I want to do five. Okay. Quarreling <laughs> siblings. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and write that down under, under there. Alright. And that was you. So we proceed back to you. Um, location. Okay. And now we do have one location already set up, mm -hmm. but we can set up another broad one. We have exotic, famous, headquarters, four color, precariously perched. Can we do four colors? Yeah. So grab a uh, blank. Oh, yeah. We'll use this one. Nope. That's a relationship. No, I have one. We okay, can put perfect. the second location. Right. Which location, number? four color. Okay. Is it? Uh, it's a number four, five, 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 five. five. Yeah. You think it'd we'll, be a four? We'll switch that back to a four because it got turned. Perfect. Okay. So uh, location four color. All right, Daniel. Uh, Martin, you and I need a relationship. We still. do. We do. Uh, so I, is is the government still available? Uh, yes. Then we're going to be part of the government. Okay. You would be part of the government. <laughs> All right. So relationship government, and that's a six. I'm going to assign your guys' relationship because I think that's the last broad relationship that hasn't been defined yet. Um, and what's your guys' relationship? We are lovers. Okay. And this time we're going to be married for sure. For sure. I promise I'm not going to stand up at the altar the third time. <laughs> <laughs> Strikes one and two. Okay. I think I'm going to make you guys allies. Number one. Dun, dun, dun. So go ahead and grab that blank card and write relationship allies. Your turn. Looking at needs, uh, to escape has back to your own world. Before the League of Supervillain, Supervillains figures out what you did. Uh, three is not available, so four is from the evil forces that control your actions. Ooh. And then lastly, six is before your terrible mistake kills you like it killed them. Oh. So there's a lot of mysteries going on. What was number two? Number two the is League? before the League of Supervillains figures out what you did. Let's, let's go with that one. Okay, that cashes in our last, last two. two. What would you like to define? Um... I will define your guys' relationship. Okay, the more. government. Scientist and experiment. Mm. <laughs> uh, number four is heroes of warring states. And number six is Pinnacle City's mayor and the lord of crime. <laughs> oh, that one's pretty crazy. <laughs> Just uh, knowing that, like, you guys are getting married and I'm related to his origin story somehow, or you're related to my origin story right. somehow. Yeah. Um, let's do a four. Heroes of Warring States? Yes, Heroes okay. of Warring States. That was my least preference. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your turn. Okay, what else do we need to define in more detail? Um, almost locations. anything your heart desires is okay. the answer, is the short answer. Uh, so do you want locations, needs, and then we can kind of further... Yeah, figure. can I further define the exotic location? Exactly, perfect. Okay. So we've got a crater in the far side of the moon, we've got an alien world in a distant galaxy, and a geothermally heated jungle valley in Antarctica. Uh, can we go with the four, please? The alien... The alien world in a distant yep. galaxy? Perfect. Okay. Uh, Martin, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, define our last need. Alright, uh, so all we have left is to conquer the world, to save the day, or to find out. 
Um, you do have a giant monster, the giantest monster ever on the list. Yes. yes. So that, that might uh, lean towards either conquering the world or, or saving, saving the day. day. Yeah. Now we it seems like we don't have many any villains for sure defined yet. That's true. Uh, maybe we're all gonna be good today. Well, we're gonna try and save the day. Okay. We're gonna try so and save the, the day. We have the last four to save the day. And that is, yep, that is the last need. Perfect. All right, um, I'm gonna define our relationship. Right now we are origin story and we have ones and sixes. So, at last, another one like me. Or, <laughs> parent and unknown progeny. <laughs> <laughs> Which would make us, all three of us, oh, God, related. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's so superhero esque, isn't it? Yes. It's a pretty biological oral or yeah. story too. Yeah, Deal. you were born. That's that's it. We're gonna catch. We're gonna grab that that six then. All right. What would you like to further define? Um, let's go with that other need that we just made to save the day. To yeah. save. Okay. Save the day. All right. Needs to save the day. We've got an atone for past failures. Or, uh, so they'll finally admit you're genius. <laughs> so they'll finally uh, gen- admit yeah, you're admit genius. Your genius. Okay. All right, perfect. So we only have two ones. Now, uh, this, the final die is a wild die. Okay, so it can be one through six, user pick. But one of those ones is a one. And now I think the only things we have left over are the four... Uh, the four color location and your guys' relationship. So you, um, you just defined that, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes, so you guys could have it be wild for your relationship, or you could. I'm gonna have it be wild for our relationship, and I'll place that okay. one on with the location. location. All right. So the four color number one is quote my news organization is not incredibly biased. <laughs> what does that mean? I, that's a location, so <laughs> I think... <laughs> that's a location? Yeah, that's a location. So... Alright, so then the final relationship will be... You guys are allies? Yes, we are allies. So it's user pick for Sam. Mentor and apprentice. Quote, equals on the, quote, team. <laughs> <laughs> Forced alliance. Leader and overly ambitious second-in-command. Which I really like. Um... Quote, you have fixed everything he breaks. <laughs> <laughs> and last one is, uh, despite hideously mismatched powers, you're still allies. So, like, one person <laughs> produces spaghetti, and the other person is a real superhero. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go with that one. That sounds great. So now let's figure out what some of this means. So, um, you guys are in a relationship very hopeful for marriage in the future. For sure. For sure. I want that on the table, Martin. So we're heroes of warring states. So what exactly does that mean? So we have registered so with one the government. of us is Russian. <laughs> it's quite possible. We, we have a wacky location. We have an exotic location, an alien world in a distant galaxy. Now with these locations, too, they can either be a prominent location for the movie, or they can be the center point of a couple scenes or something. Hypothetically, right? one of us could be from that alien galaxy. This is true. Or the monster could. Oh, snap! Because <laughs> it's the biggest monsters ever. The giantest. Yeah. Giantest. 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 Sorry. Biggest, biggestest doesn't cover it. No. You guys are siblings who are at war with each other? Quarreling. We're quarreling. Quarreling. Okay. quarreling. Okay. And I'm probably, you're probably the offspring. Either, that means, well, that means right. either I'm your child and he's my aunt or uncle, or we're your children, or you're both my children. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that one a little bit, yeah. <laughs> just because it's even more ridiculous. But I like the idea that you know for sure one of your kids exists. I look, I you never have used no the idea about in my the other. Life, okay? <laughs> yeah, we figured it out, but you never met him. No, no, I don't. Nor do I want to at this point. <laughs> no. Okay, so um, what's your guys' relationship? Um, we are allies, and despite one of us having a Hideously, hideously, okay. hideously mismatched. Mis- mismatched power. Okay, so I, are any of us not superheroes? Because you don't guys necessarily you guys, have to be. I'm related to him. Because we related. To yeah, you, their card but says. I don't have anything particularly special about me. 
But I mean, hypothetically, you're a progeny of his. Yeah. So, so like, we're if both I'm a superhero, heroes, then, then he's a superhero. You then, like, you get shafted. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Or you could you're be. Shut down. You know, or you're like you're the progeny. You could be like a progeny of accounting. Like you are the best accountant in the goddamn world. While your dad is a superhero. <laughs> Look, I don't know about him. Okay? <laughs> Um, also, though, keep in mind, like, mismatched powers could just mean that they don't match up well together. Like, if one does true. ice and one does fire, exactly they essentially yeah. cancel each other out. One of us has to be from warring states. So, I'm, you know, one of us could be from Canada. <laughs> yeah. That's well, true. I we were it's on true. an alien world. Uh, that, that is a location that we've featured prominently in the movie. Oh, so, so it doesn't, it doesn't mean that's be... the location of it. Yeah, yeah. Or, okay. or we're on an alien world and they have a very biased news media. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, unbiased, excuse oh, me. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the propaganda speaking. <laughs> to, to further define stuff, we need to figure out what your guys' mitch, mismatching is, because I think that will line up a couple things. Mm -hmm. Both of you say what superpower you would want in real life. Three, two, one, go! I honestly would just want to nap whenever I want, but have time stops whenever I sleep. So we have like my full 24 hours in my day, and it's honestly all I want in this world. I like the ability I, to I like, like time part. stop, but you only use it to nap, <laughs> but you can hypothetically use it whenever. Nope. Just to nap. Yeah. But like, you only discover this power through napping. Yeah. So, is that is that your superpower? I'd love it if that was my superpower. Okay, you can stop time. Perfect. Okay. Um, do you want to be super fast then? I'll be. Okay. I'll be Mr. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> that's at least that's what your ex-wife calls you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Mr. Quick and can't pay child support this month. <laughs> He's got a lot of nicknames from the old, from the misses. He's super quick. Mm -hmm. What's your superpower? Can I not have any superpowers? You can absolutely be the most mundane person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad at you. <laughs> You're fucking great genes. Oh, okay, yeah. no, that's perfect. I like that. perfect. Cool. So, so what is uh, you? You can you can think on this, or if you have an idea right now, like what is your character's role in this, or like where are they? Are, do they work for the news media? That's super unbiased. <laughs> I, I think I would rat people out to the supervillain incorporated okay. since I, I'm obviously not a fan of superheroes. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. Like you work for the news media and yep. you leak information to the to the enemy team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. I almost feel like maybe I should be part of the enemy team or something. As, as in part of Mother Russia or part of the States? Uh, whatever accent I cannot butcher. <laughs> oh, I, would love to, I would love to see you try the Mother Russia accent. I like. I think Daniel should do Mother Russia and that should be the good people. Oh, the, the Russians so are the good. Russians. This is true, this is true! We you do not give us enough credit. We have the Our podcast. news media very not <laughs> biased. Very not, very not very biased. biased! Do you want to go that route? I certainly can. <laughs> okay. This can be set anywhere, like this could be in the US and you're just a hero over here trying to do whatever, right? Maybe you're oh, trying to escape, uh, maybe you're the one trying to escape. I'm trying to escape Masarasha, <laughs> impossible! Uh, uh, you're trying to escape Daddy USA. I, I think that I am a, a superhero who's been sent as like a peace envoy to the United States okay. to try and solve with some supervillain issues. Why do you guys continuously not get married? I, I feel like it, the, the, some sort of like supervillain uh, intrudes on our wedding every time. There has to be a bad guy here. I'm thinking I might be one of the bad guys or something. I, uh, I think Grievous is also for yeah. sure. No, and maybe that's guys. how we work together. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's how we work together. And you maybe know that I'm your dad, and I have no idea. Or, or you know, and I'm following in your footsteps, <laughs> and you haven't told me <laughs> until at the end where it's like, son, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <And> just, <gasps> Dad, <laughs> I was born to be mad. <laughs> Don't tell your brother, though. He's a total dick. <laughs> I hate that guy, too. He's a fucking tool. <laughs> Can we go play ball? Because I'm almost thinking, too, that... Like, we're on opposite sides, but maybe why we have scenes together is because we both accidentally did something terrible with the super villains and we're trying to get out of it and i, I yep. used to be part of the villainous corporation but then uh, i came to light and uh because of uh my wonderful woman i have pure, pure joined love. joined the good side True in russia love. pure love don't exist in russia pure love is in pure vodka <laughs> Uh, so someone needs to save the day so that people will finally admit their genius. 
I'm saving the day from the superheroes. Yeah, so let's put this need to escape. I mean, it all, it would also make sense with us. So let's let's put this uh, location between us then, because that's where we usually meet. Is you know, like your new location yeah. or whatever? And so we are. Uh, we occasionally our wedding oh, is going man. to be an alien <laughs> <in the> galaxy. <laughs> Also, it's impossible to cater, so that's another reason why one of the weddings. <laughs> and so, what is that object one more time? This is the giantest monster ever. Okay, so somehow you guys are are responsible for, or somehow that's part of your story together. You let out the giantest monster in the world. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. Already. Well, be- this needs to be shared. Needs, locations, and objects are still shared between two people. Okay. Those, those two is a team. <laughs> Us two as a team. <laughs> Maybe somehow you were hypersonic and she activated her time stop and like created this rift or something. And you, it, by turn you accidentally like created a wormhole that the like giant this monster came through. Or something. That works. That works. Okay. So yeah, so we, uh, between us using our powers together, um... We have created we have created some type of portal that has invited the giantest monster ever. Deal. Talk about Mitch, mismatched powers, am I right? Whoa! What a crazy couple. <laughs> all right. Uh, um, I just want to put it out there that I have like all various like standard like Captain America type superpowers, <laughs> but my power that I'm most proud of is that I can turn water into vodka. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we'll figure out names and stuff in between the setup and the Act 1 video. So, um, But I think that is our setup for uh, this fiasco. Um, we've got a lot of stuff on the table to try and figure out, so we will see you guys next week for the first episode. Fucking stoked! I really want my name to be like Quickie Mick. <laughs> Mickey McQuick. Uh, yeah, you gotta have like a really ridiculous real name, and then your superhero name has to be really ridiculous as well. 